guys, I'm Aaron Edgar with Drums Etc. Magazine. And today we've got something really fun for you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create some totally unique beats using what would be considered a rhythmic illusion called displacement. Some people refer to it as permutations. This is just a couple of ways to look at the same idea, really. So we're gonna start with a pretty syncopated sounding groove. And the reason being is when you displace a really syncopated sounding groove, it becomes something brand new. It doesn't feel like a displaced version of itself. It becomes a totally new beat on its own. So we're gonna use that as our concept to make three new beats out of this first one I'm gonna show you. So the main challenge within this is that we have that right hand pattern not playing straight up eighth notes. Now the cool thing about that is that when we start to displace it, it's going to make this seem like some totally random chaos. But we're going to come up with some completely new beats that have their own flavor. Let's get into our first displacement or permutation, number two. So what we've done with this beat is we've taken the a uh of two, one e and a two e and a, uh, and just shifted it over. So that's beat one now. So as you can hear, shifting it over, it just sounds like an entirely different beat. Now we picked a note that has a bass drum on it, so it kind of sounds like its own thing. It just sounds like a straight up, this is a beat we created this way. That's one of the fun little tricks you can use displacement for. Let's explore a little bit further. Let's take a look at example number three. This time I wanted to make it seem like we kind of flipped the beat upside down. So two beats backward, that very last snare drum from number two, let's start the beat with that this time. Let's see what that's gonna sound like. sounds even funkier still, and it almost doesn't sound anything like the original beat, which is pretty cool because it's physically identical. We just started it in a different spot. Now, let's make it really interesting, and let's make our first note one that we don't play on. There's a couple places within this beat where we have a 16th note of just air, nothing. Let's try that out. Number four. started to embellish a little bit more at the end there, but that's kind of what this is all about. I want you guys to explore new ways of creating your own beats, your own unique patterns that are totally you. So the best place to start, take beats that you like, ones that you play all the time, just write them on down. Displace it to all points within the bar. Maybe you'll find something that you rhythmically enjoy that you never really considered before. Until next time, I'll see everybody inside the next video. Later.